Hi, in this example, we are going to see how we can deploy a sample application on Heroku platform. To try out Heroku, we can sign up for the free account and log into it. After logging in, we can click on create new app to create our first app. We can give the name for the app. We can also choose our region in which we want to deploy the application. We have given cloud hyphen move as an application name. Click on create new app. Roku also has a feature of pipeline by which we can make entire CI CD cycle. Roku supports different deployment methods like Roku Git, GitHub, or Dropbox. Let's choose the default Roku Git for now. By doing that, Roku will create Git repo for our application inside Heroku environment and would use it for application deployment. We can log into our Heroku environment from a command line using Heroku login command. We have to provide our email and the password. On the terminal, we need to go to our project home. In this case, my app is our project home. We have different files here like hello.py, which contains a Flask application. And while running, it would print a very simple message. Application would get served from all the interfaces of the system and on the board, which we collect from the environment variable. Proc file defines how our application should run. Like in this case, we need to run python.hello.py. Requirements.txt file define the prerequisite to run the application. In this case, it's Flask. Next, we have to do git init in the application folder. Then we need to add a git remote. We now need to do our first git commit to add the source code in the repository. And then push the changes to the Heroku git. After doing the push, it would start the build process, which would detect that our application is written in Python and would use Python build pack to build the application. It would first look at the requirements.txt file and install the Flask package. By looking at the proc file, it would know how to deploy the application. Once bundled, it would compress and launch it. We can access the application via the URL shown on the screen, which would be our application name .horokuapp.com. We can attach it to a custom domain name also. We can look at the settings of the application by clicking on the settings button. We can see the existing information of the application. the build packs, Roku domain, and so on. To delete the application, we have to click on delete app, and we have to provide the app name to make sure that we are fine with that. Our application would be deleted. So in this demo, we have seen how we can use Roku platform to deploy an application and then delete it.